Hey y'all, so we finally made it to a thousand. So I'm so happy for that. So thank you so much to everybody that has subscribed. And if you've not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that little button. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so excited. I do want to say one thing though, the channel is still not monetized because I have to get my hours up, the hours of watch time. So I'll be working on doing that, maybe cutting down the videos because I know at one point that uh, people stopped watching the videos. So maybe I'll try to do some more videos. I'll do something. Let me know if you have any experience with getting the watch time up. I'd love to hear what you have to say. You can email me or drop it down in the comment section. So let's go ahead and get started for today. It is talking about entitlement. It is so ridiculous. Like, it, why is there so many entitled people in this world? I don't know. Do people that are empathetic just attract these people? Or is this something just going on in the world that we're just getting more and more of these type of people? I don't know what it is. But any, I don't know. Whatever it is, I don't like it. And I want to know what you have to say down in the comment section. So here it is. Let's say, for instance... I hear people saying, well, grandparents should wash the kids and you shouldn't have to ask a grandparent. They should be willing to wash the kids and the kids should be at their house on the weekend. I see these type of posts and people are like, back in the day, that's how it was. Okay, back in the day, maybe that was how it was. But guess what? It's not like that anymore. People have changed. And so instead of complaining about how things used to be, how about we adapt to what things are now? How about you show gratitude? Maybe it's coming off that you expect your parents or or your your mate's parents to watch the kids. Maybe it's something in your tone. Maybe you're like, mm, oh, you're not watching them. Oh, why do I have to ask? People can sense that type of vibe. So if you're coming with that entitlement, they're not going to want to watch. But maybe if you put in something, some incentive for the person, be like, hey, well, if you need a ride to the grocery store, if you watch Little Timmy, you know, I'll do that. And you may be thinking, but I shouldn't have to. So what, what you care about, what you shouldn't have to. Deal with reality instead of what you wish things should be if everybody was just as smart and brilliant as you and did whatever you thought was the best to do that's not how it works how about showing gratitude when they do watch and be like oh my god i got a chance to rest i got a chance to do something else i got a chance to prepare for little jimmy's um school i'm sure he's gonna have a better week because you allowed me that time you know to to do, do what i needed to do around the house people like to be um giving those words of encouragement that they are helping in some type of way so why don't you fluff them up or whatever you want to call it to get them instead of just thinking they should just be bending over backwards and at your beck and call just because they're the grandparents they need to do that moving on to other people that have businesses like I'll see type of people with with um who never support anybody's business. I mean, they can see you every day live in the same house. No, you selling um <laughs> whatever fake nails. No, you selling lip gloss and body butter and incense. They won't buy not one from you. Okay, they won't tell nobody you selling it. They won't like it on social media. They won't do one thing. They won't tell you could have a party and they would walk right in the house selling your incense. They will walk through and walk out like they don't even know what you're doing okay they won't say congratulations they can be in a room where everybody congratulating you and they will act like they don't know what's going on and why they why they there because it's a celebration for you honey but as soon as they start selling pajama pants with the feet in them okay or the ones with the butt crack hanging out you know they are like mm. I know I, I, it's my turn to sell something now. I know everybody going to help me. And they'll actually tell people this. They'll tell people who they haven't supported. Well, I'm going to be mad if don't nobody help me with my business because I know we are all supposed to be friends and we're supposed to be family and we're supposed to have each other's back. Okay, but when you were selling stuff, where was the family in that person? Where was the friend in that person? Where was the have in the person's back? But now they got all these little sayings now that it's on them. See, that's why I try not to listen to people when they got all that stuff to say because they usually send it to benefit them when they bring it up. We supposed to be family. We supposed to be friends. But it only applies to them so they can get the benefit. So now they just expect everybody to start throwing money at them, sharing them all over social media. But baby, they couldn't even give you nothing. Not one clap, but they expect you to woo, get excited and go crazy. Woo but where was all that energy and goodness for you? 
No, it, it didn't exist. But now that it's them, it's something else. And I want to say again, I have reissued and totally revamped my first book. I should have worn a curtain, a novella by Samira Alexander. It is found on Amazon in a book format. See how pretty this is? You can get you one just like this, okay? And Amazon. And you can also get, I should have worn a curtain, an ebook if you have an ebook. And also, um, you can get it on Kindle Unlimited. I also released my first full length novel. A, no a novella is shorter than a novel. My full length novel is called road to malevolence again by samira alexander road to malevolence you can also get that on, on amazon and ebook kindle unlimited and paperback and let me know even though it's a girl on the cover don't get it messed up because janet is something else baby this is a an adult novel with with uh trigger warnings corporal punishment child kidnapping and child murder without the graphics so don't let the girl on the cover fool you i want to let you all um let me know what you think about that book i'm waiting on reviews so when you read my books please leave a review even if it's a short review it keeps me motivated lets me know what i am doing right and keeps me going on thank you so so much for that also back to what i was saying entitlement even i notice sometimes like with the youtube videos i've seen this before um you know people can watch your videos and get all type of revelations something they've been praying about has been answered through your lips you they have become a better person baby getting their mental health together just learning relationships how to dress better whatever it is that you might do on social media these people will watch you for years won't like a video won't subscribe to your channel won't tell you how you have been a blessing and a help in their lives and their family lives honey no they would rather just keep watching you and signing, honey, and just think that they are entitled to your video, baby. Will never drop $1 on your cash app. <laughs> They're like, huh, it's free. You should give it to me free. If you really like this and serious, you gonna give it free. Now, that's entitlement because we all know stuff, it costs a lot, especially out here in California. And somebody may say, well, who told you to move there? Go somewhere else. Well, stuff is costing a lot anywhere, but it's particularly in California. What can you get for free, huh? I'm going to say that. This tissue box costs money, honey. This little book. I got Moth to a Flame. Um, I, I ain't read it yet, but people say it's awesome, y'all. Yes. I ain't scared to big up somebody else's stuff, honey. It don't take away from my book and what I got to do. Mouth to a Flame by Ashley Antoinette. Great reviews, okay? Everything I have in this house, okay? I got what? Some kombucha right here. Ooh, this is my one of my favorites. GTS, honey. It's addictive. Yes. Money. Oh, and I look at that. I said addictive. Didn't even know that was the name of my little chapstick addictive supposed to be vegan something like that everything in here costs money the hp okay i can keep grabbing and grabbing and grabbing the broke cell phone okay the little remote control to my little lamp thing costs money so these people who say if you do it you if you love it you should do it that's just entitlement no everybody deserves to have a place to eat to sleep and to live and any wisdom and knowledge it takes effort for somebody to give that to you and they could have chose to keep it to themselves so no you are not entitled to somebody's wisdom that they probably had to spend years of going to school to get and pay for okay or spending years praying fasting or whatever to give you a word whatever it is they have researching online you're not entitled to that because even though it may come across looking easy baby there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes that gives people that knowledge that wisdom to sit before you and to give you what it seems like it, it took nothing for them to do you don't know the sweat and the tears that they had so thank people you watch their videos and I'm down just I'm not even talking just talking about my channel but any channel you watch cuz I try to remind myself of that if I if somebody says something I like I didn't know I say thank you even if I don't know what to say I use some type of what is it emoji the hit the nail on the head something to let these people know I appreciate them that's the thing is some people go around talking about people don't help them they don't support them they don't have their back well have you looked at yourself who have you supported lately 
Whose back have you had? Whose business or merchandise have you shared online? Have you told your friends about what your friends and family are doing? Have you tried to bring them some business? So then you're getting mad when don't nobody help you. But do you help other people? So, see, that's the thing. Like, for instance, uh, you, you can share somebody's stuff online for their business. Let's say they're selling cocoa butter. You find somebody doing a cocoa butter competition online. You see, not CC, that's not the email. You tag your girl because you like, oh, I want her to get this business. They're going to put her cocoa butter in a magazine if she win. You know, you tag her every time you see cocoa butter, every time you out, you telling people, oh, Sally sell cocoa butter. Let me get you Sally car. You do, 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 do. You know what? You can go back to that same post and Sally has um now putting pictures of her cocoa butter up. She ain't liked or loved the um you your, your little comment where you tagged her name. She ain't tell you or even privately text you or called you and said, thank you. I wouldn't have known about that competition if it weren't for you. She ain't DM you. She just threw her pictures of her little dusty cocoa butter all in that dang on post, but didn't even come back to say thank you. It remind me of that scripture I don't know which one it is. My Bible scholars let us know in the comments where Jesus had healed some lepers and they all ran away, skipping along on their way. They was all dusty, couldn't walk, and he helped them, healed them. And only one came back to him to say, thank, basically, thank you. And he said, well, where all the other ones go? Because he was like, wasn't it like three, four, y'all I healed? I mean, come on. You the only one came back? He like, oh, yeah, they ran off somewhere. People do that. They forget about you real quick. I think about even um the, the guy in the um prison in um with Joseph in the Bible. He told um Joseph told the man his um reveal what the man's dream meant. The man was like, "Yeah, I'm going to remember you when I get back to Pharaoh. I'm going to tell Pharaoh." And the man forgot all about him. Entitled, just getting people's information for free and not paying them back for nothing. How how do we do that kind of stuff and think it's okay, y'all? Come on. So, hey, let me know what you think down in the section. Have you been running into these entitled people? Are you one of those entitled people? And sometimes we can get it get that way, but I'm always trying to look at myself. That's how we get better and see where can I do better? You know, how can I celebrate people? How can I show them that I appreciate them? And you know what? With these entitled people, the best way, and I'm, then I'm going to get out of here, the best way to stop this behavior is to cut them off. They got that new business. They've been ignoring you. Guess what you do when you get there? They when they get theirs. Ignore. Mm-hmm. Talking to me too. Yeah. I'm looking in the camera. Talking to me. You ignore them, Samira. Yes. Okay. I'm not crazy talking to myself in third person, but you get it. Mm-hmm. Also, they um yeah they they expect you because you family or relatives to do their hair for free. You know, do their toenails for free. Watch their kids for free. Stop it. Because this will start showing them that what their behavior is not, get, not getting them what they want. People just continue to treat you how you allow them to treat you because they're getting a reward. We only continue to do behaviors because we get a, a reward. If I talk to you nasty and that makes you um, get scared and give me everything I want, well, that shows me, oh, talking to you nasty gets me what I want. So that's a good thing. I'm going to keep talking to you nasty. Or... If I come to you and like, you should do this for me. I'm your family. I'm your mother. I'm da 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 If you give in to me, what have you taught me? Oh, going off on you, you're weak. I'm going to get everything I want. But when you start standing up to these people, you know, show them a difference. Then all of a sudden, it's going to change. And how they're treating you is going to change, okay? Because you're not going to be falling for the dumb stuff anymore. They're not sharing your work. Don't share their work. They're ignoring, ignoring you but entitled for you. They won't get you one crumb on your birthday. But their birthday, they want you to go um, do all kind of stuff. Get them a car. Get them a new designer bag. Do all kind of stuff for them. But they can't, they can't even remember your birthday to save their lives. Stop bending over backwards for these people and give your energy to those people who love and support you. And the thing is, you can get depressed, anxious, sad if you focus. Because I've been there before, focusing on who ain't supporting and talking all about who ain't, who ain't. I'm just doing this for the video to pass out knowledge about this. But trust me, that is not the trip anymore. I see it. And even if I got to block people, delete them for social media, I'm like, okay, bye, because I ain't dealing with you because I see what you want. But the thing is, no. 
if my mind started trying to focus on who ain't supporting, the first thing I think to myself is, God, I am grateful for those who do support me. Thank you for bringing people in my life who support me, who like my businesses. Thank you that you giving me talents to do businesses that people like and I make money from it. And why I say I make money? Because, baby, I'm in California. You got to have money. So don't play with me and act like you don't, people don't need money. Okay, so I am focusing my mind, my my mind, my intention on the positive and what I do have because you can get yourself crazy and people can be out here trying to kill themselves, cutting themselves, drinking and smoking and all kind of stuff, be, trying to fill a void because of people who ain't supporting them. There are some people who support you, and when you see who they are, you make sure when they it's time for them something going on for them, you go hard for them. Give them a gift card, send them something nice in the mail. Don't just take stuff for granted. Like people even say. Mental health services should be free. That ain't fair. Why I should be free and we got to go to school and spend over $20,000 for one, what is it? Was it a semester or a year? Girl, I ain't been in school in so long I can't even remember. I think it was over $20,000 a year. Add that up five years for, um, what was that? No, I think five years for grad school, four for undergrad. Add all that up and then the interest over the years and the loans and somebody got the nerve to tell me they want free services, okay? And then if you are getting free services, bless you. I'm not going to hate if you do get the free services. But when you do get the free services, make sure you have gratitude and don't just be entitled. Oh, they should be doing it anyway if they love it. No, you. I don't come to Walmart and get free services from you. You don't give me your discount at Sephora when I come there, but you love Sephora working there, but I'm supposed to give you a discount. You, If you work at the tax center, you don't do my taxes for free, but I, I need to give you free mental health services. I come and get to, to your shoe store and Foot Locker. You don't give me no free shoes and Foot Locker. But I'm supposed to give you services for free. And you may say, but that's on the government. But yes, yeah, somebody still got to pay for it. And then I'm going to say this. If you do get the free services, God bless you. But show up on time. Say thank you. Don't be there wasting their time because it's free. Because people, what I've seen, don't really respect free services. Say what you want. You know? Don't just be a no-show to appointments and act like you ain't no-showed and don't say I'm sorry, forgive me, or either try to do better. Because people rearrange their days about and um, hours and what they're doing to accommodate you. So you you there like, oh, it's free, it don't matter. But somebody's being inconvenienced because of you. So show some gratitude. You're not just entitled to the free. And like Janet Jackson said, you know, what have you done for me lately? Okay. That's probably what people in your life are wondering or you're wondering about other people because we tired of these entitled folks and maybe it's a lack of morals. I don't know what it is, but we're going to cover that again. Bye.